Hello and welcome to this screencast on the equation of a straight line. So I'm going to go straight ahead and just draw in a set of axes and I'm going to label these axes by x, x axes and y axes. Okay, and on this set of axes I'm going to draw a straight line. Okay, so we're looking for an equation which describes this straight line and this is given by y equals mx, so m times x plus c. Okay, this is the equation of a straight line. Okay, that's something you'll need to remember. Right, um, the y value is how high up my graph is. So if I have a point somewhere, for example here, this point has a set of coordinates x and y. Okay, the y coordinate is given on the left hand side of this equation. The x coordinate is what we know, what we call as the independent variable because y, the value of y, depends upon the value of x. Okay, m is known as the gradient or the slope. Okay, how steep is my line? So that's the gradient. Okay, and for m, what we do is we take any two points on our line. I'm going to take these two points here, and we calculate the horizontal distance between the two points, and we calculate the vertical distance between those two points. And I call the vertical, good, vertical distance delta y and the horizontal distance delta x. So the gradient m is equal to the change in the y coordinates, so delta y, divided by the change in the x coordinates, delta x. Okay, so that's the gradient. And the c, well, the c is what we call the y intercept. Okay, so where on the y axis does my straight line cross? Okay, so here's my straight line. This is a point where it crosses the y-axis. This is my point C. Okay, and if we rearrange the equation of the straight line to make C the subject, we get C equals y minus mx. So if we have values of y, m, and x, we can calculate the value of C. Okay. Right, so if I have coordinates, or I've had a straight line, and I have two coordinates on my straight line at x1, y1. Remember, these would usually just be numbers, and x2, y2. Okay, so I've got a straight line. Let's say I wanted to calculate the um, equation of this straight line. Okay, well, m is going to be the difference in the y coordinates. So that'll be y2 minus y1 divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So that'll be x2 minus x1. That'll be m. And to calculate c, what we do is we substitute one of these coordinates into this equation here. Okay, usually you pick the one with the which will make the arithmetic easier. Okay. So we calculate m, substitute the x and y coordinates into this expression for c, and we can calculate c. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Let's say my coordinates are at 1, 1, and let's say 7, and 13. That's coordinates picked off the top of my head, and this is example 1. Right, let's calculate m. So m is the difference in the... Um, what, um, oh, don't go out the wrong way around there. m is the difference in the y coordinates, so that'll be 13 minus 1. And uh, that's divided by the difference in the x coordinates, so that'll be 7 minus 1. Okay, 13 minus 1 is 12, 7 minus 1 is 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So this gives me m. Okay, now, now to calculate c, well c is equal to y1 minus m times x1. Well, it doesn't have to be y1, it could be y2 and x2, but as you see here, x1, y1, smaller numbers, makes the arithmetic easier. Okay, so y1 is 1. That's minus m, which is 2, and that's multiplied by x1, which in this case is 1. Okay, so 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1. Okay, so we now combine m and c into the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. We have y equals 2x minus 1. And that is our equation of a straight line. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at one further example. Let's have a look at one where 
we've got some negative values in. Okay, so um, let's have minus two, uh, minus three, and we've also got uh, four and six. Okay, just two um, coordinates just made up off the top of my head. Okay, calculate the gradient m. So remember the difference in the y direction. So we have six minus minus three. So we have six plus three. And we have four minus minus two. So four plus two. Okay, so six plus three is nine. Four plus two is six. And we can simplify this as three over two. Okay, so our gradient is three over two. Okay, what about the y-intercept? Well, remember the y-intercept is y1 minus m times x1. So y1 is minus 3 minus m, which is 3 over 2, times x1, which is minus 2. Okay, so if we find the product, we have minus 3. Well, here we have minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 over 2. Okay, so if we multiply these two together, we get plus 3. Okay, and minus 3 plus 3 equals 0. So in this case, my equation of a straight line is y equals m, 3 over 2, times x, plus 0. So that is just my equation of a straight line. Okay, so hopefully you're happy now, and you can go off and calculate equations of a straight line.